Well, let's go to Pittsburgh. Let's go to PNC and bring in FP Santangelo and FP. I know when you look at the matchups on paper, Strasburg and Korea, I think advantage Strasburg. Well, yeah, but that's why you play the games, Johnny. Kevin Correa is a gutty pitcher. He's going to go out there and give his teams innings. He's got a good sinker, a good cutter combination. Everything he throws is around 85 to 89 miles an hour. So he, he's a tough guy to get hits off of. He was with the Giants when I was over there. So, yeah, he gave up five runs on nine hits his last outing. But he's been one of their better pitchers this season. And obviously <laughs> the matchup does favor Steven Strasburg, but that's why you play the games. FP, you look at Andrew McCutcheon and what he's done against the Nationals the last two games. Five for six, two home runs, three RBIs. What can the Nats do to contain this guy and make sure that he doesn't factor in too heavily for Pittsburgh? Well, you throw a guy out there that throws 97, 98 miles an hour and maybe has better stuff than McCutcheon is hitting. I think, you know, he's been a little comfortable in the batter's box. Maybe try that two-seam 97, 98 in on him, move his feet a little bit. But, uh, you know, Strasburg's got good stuff. We talked about the Met Matt kemp Steven Strasburg matchup in Los Angeles a lot. I think the one tonight with McCutcheon might be just as good. FP, you, you've been there and you've been in ball clubs where things are, aren't going the way that everybody thinks they should. Uh, people are saying pitching is keeping the ball club in the game. The hitters, what's wrong with this guy? What's wrong with that guy? All you got to do, and I think Davey said it, and I know you probably feel the same way, play within yourself and take what the guy gives you and play to your strengths. Yeah, easier said than done. And I like the fact that Davey Johnson had a team meeting today, and I like the fact that he talked to his ball club and told him to relax. I have confidence in you. So you should have confidence in yourself. But when you talk about maybe trying to do too much, he said guys are trying to hit home runs that normally don't hit home runs. Guys are trying to make up for maybe the loss of Jason Worth and the loss of Michael Morse. But you guys, you know, I talked about this a lot on the MLB channel today. With Jason Worth out, I mean, he's the leader in that clubhouse, and I think the immediacy and the shock of his injury has a lot of effect on this ball club. You know, you're a team, and you're a family for six months. You see your teammates more than you do your family. So all of a sudden, one of your family members is gone. He's not there anymore, and there's a void left in that clubhouse right now. And I think it takes a little bit of time to get over that void as a ball club. All of a sudden, you're, you know, you have Jason Worth chirping in the dugout. You have him chirping in the clubhouse. You have a guy that takes the young guys under his wing and controls them and teaches them how to play the game the right way. And all of a sudden, he's gone. So they're missing Jason Worth right now. It's one of those things where Major League players learn how to adapt and, you know, move on. And it's going to take a minute before they get used to not having Jason Worth around. And before I let you go, this is the 206th game tonight. Adam LaRoche will play in the, the ballpark there. He loves to play in Pittsburgh. Something like a 296 career batting average, 34 home runs against the Pirate pitching. Yeah, I mean, he loves to play here, obviously, and he's got some protection behind him in the lineup tonight with Bryce Harper hitting fifth. So, you know, they pitched around him and avoided the Nationals' hottest hitter so far in this series. But with Bryce hitting fifth, yeah, Adam LaRoche will see something to hit tonight. It's always a pleasure, my friend, to have you with us. We will look forward to you and Bob you know, on the call. What's that? Go ahead. Well, you know how they renamed the park Natitude Park? You guys didn't hear this, but they renamed this park FPNC Park this weekend because Bob and I have been so good on the air throughout the series. Man, FPNC Park. Yeah. I, I knew that was coming. We'll see you guys in a few <laughs> minutes. <laughs>